Have you ever wondered what's behind the gates of the HS2 Washwood Health Depot? This unassuming site in Birmingham, UK has a rich industrial history, having been home to both the Metro Camel Train Factory and the LDV Group Van Factory. Join us as we uncover the secrets of the HS2 Washwood Health Depot and explore the stories behind these iconic factories. From legendary train designs to innovative van manufacturing, this is a journey you don't want to miss. So come along as we delve into the history of the HS2 Washwood Health Depot and uncover the secrets of its past. But before we get started, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The Metropolitan Amalgamated Railway Carriage and Wagon Company purchased this site in 1907, and construction was started in 1909 and completed in 1912. That's right, folks, this site has been around for over a century. In 1929, the company merged with the rail division of Camel Laird Company to form the Metropolitan Camel Carriage and Wagon Company, which will later became the Metro Camel. During World War I and II, the company built tanks and bus bodies. But it's most famous for its production of rail stocks like the Underground 1996 stock and the British Rail Mark for coaches. The LDV Group was also based here, and it was the site of their operations from 1993 to 2009. In May 1989, the company was bought by GEC Ulston. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. The site closed in 2005, and its last rail stop was the BR Class 390 Pendolino. Fast forward to today, and the site is once again buzzing with activity as the workshop has been demolished for the HS2 Washwood Health Depot. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes. So, what secrets does this new chapter hold? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure, with a history as rich as this, we're bound to uncover some surprises. Thanks for joining us on this journey to uncover the truth of the HS2 Washwood Heath Depot. If you want to see more fascinating transportation and travel related content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So